Hey guys! Today we're going to create this kind of lettering animation using the Milka logo in ToonSquid. What's interesting is that we'll be starting from a raster PNG logo, animating its appearance, and adding some frame-by-frame -frame splash effects. Ready? Let's go! We create a new project. Width 1920, height 1080, frames per second 12. Let's begin by importing a pre-made PNG of the Milka logo. It has a transparent background, which is important if you want to change the color later. Center the image. Here we can see the shape is split into two parts. The first one is the letter M. Let's crop the image. Double tap on it to go into edit mode, then go to action, settings, crop. Also, let's erase the part from the other letters. Now place the image again into the project and repeat the same steps for the second part. This time cropping the rest and erasing the dot above the eye. To help us align everything, let's add the original image one more time and lower the opacity. Now place the cropped parts, aligning them based on the faded original. Perfect. Now let's work on the letter M. Stretch its duration to 12 frames. Then select the path tool and start tracing over the letter. It's okay to be rough for now. It's important that our path is thicker than the original shape, so let's increase the stroke thickness and refine the points. Open the Layers panel, move the image above the vector path and apply Toggle Mask. We'll control the appearance using Trim. To make this work cleanly, set the path color to white and begin refining it by adjusting the end trim gradually. Sometimes it's easier to see what you're doing if you temporarily change the path color, so I'll switch between colors while adjusting. Here we can see the curve touches the next one too soon, so let's fix that. Same for the following parts, adjust as needed. Now move to the timeline, open keyframe settings, and find the end trim. Set it to 0 on the first frame, then 100 on frame 12. Select both keyframes and apply quadratic easing. I want the animation to play a bit slower, so I'll stretch the duration and move the keyframes forward a bit. And now the base animation for the first letter is done. Let's repeat the same process for the second part. I move the layer forward in the timeline and start tracing the letters using the path tool. Done. Now move the vector layer below and apply the mask. Set the path to white and move into the refining stage. I slowly increase the end trim value while adjusting the points. Once the path looks good, we go to the keyframe animation part. Set end trim to 0, then to 100. Our base is almost ready. I want to refine letters K and A a bit more.
Now let's create a dot to line appearance effect. Make a new layer. It helps to first draw a path line on a separate layer that the dot will follow. Stretch its duration. Then on a new layer, start drawing the appearance using the stable ink brush. On the next frame, the dot becomes a line. Let's tweak the brush settings to reduce jitter. Under smoothing, increase the value. Keep drawing frame by frame. After a few frames, our goal is to merge the path with the actual letter's start. Let's check the preview. Oops, quadratic easing didn't stick. Let's reapply that. Okay, we're good for now. Now on the timeline, jump to the moment when the M has finished appearing and draw a new path line that will lead into the I. Great, now on another new layer, draw a dot flying out from the letter and heading toward the next letter. This is how mine looks. Next, the third path. This one goes from the A to the dot above the I. All right, this works. Now draw a droplet that moves toward the dot. Stretch it in the middle of the motion, then draw a frame with a bounce effect, where the dot lands slightly below the final position. And finally, draw the last frame with the dot in place. Turn off the background image and check the preview. So, what's next? Let's draw some splash effects. This is my favorite part. I always say that. We just draw little drops breaking off from the main shapes. Then gradually shrink them and move them forward. You can even split them into smaller drops. Here's what I got for the first part. For the rest of the letters, there isn't enough space for splashes, so I suggest adding motion lines beside the letters. Same idea. Stretch the middle, then shrink and split. This looks awesome in motion, so pick a few good spots for these. Awesome. Now let's add splashes between letters. Great. Now add motion trails for the second part of the word. Same method as with the letter M. Let's speed up a bit here. And now finally, we add a splash for the dot above the eye.
This is what we have so far. You could leave it like this, but I want to polish it a bit more. On a new layer, I add rounded touch-ups where the appearance feels a bit too rough. I also correct any jagged spots frame by frame. For example, the letter R. And here's the final result I got. I also have a similar tutorial using the Disney logo in Procreate Dreams, where we use a slightly different technique. Go check that out too. Hope this was useful, or at least fun to watch. If you want to support my channel, feel free to leave a like or comment. You can also send a super thanks or get a paid subscription. Details are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.